In question two of this series, I'll show you how to determine if vectors, and specifically in question two, matrices, form a basis. Just to recap what we did in question one, we had three vectors as opposed to matrices, and we proved that they span and that they were linearly independent, and if you can prove both of those, then what's inside the set forms a basis. So we have to do the same thing here, and the question reads, verify that the set of matrices in this set S form a standard basis for a two by two matrix denoted right here. So just like in question number one, we have to prove if it spans. And we can do that by multiplying each of these matrices to a constant, a scalar if you will, and making the sum equal to a fifth matrix that has the elements A, B, C, and D. So just to be clear as to what I mean, I'll multiply this by A and I'll add it to this matrix times B plus C times the third matrix plus D times the last. And the sum of these equals to our fifth matrix, which has the elements A, B, C, and D. So at this point, you can tell that the left side of this equation, if we multiply A to each of these elements, I'll end up with A times one or A and if I multiply B to this matrix, I'll end up with B only in this position. Multiplying C to this matrix, C in the second row first column position, and D in that last position. The left side is equal to the right side, so this proves that these matrices span. But we also have to prove that they're linearly independent. For that, I will, rather than use A, B, C, and D, I'll replace them with a zero matrix. So all of these elements will be zeros as opposed to unknowns. In addition, since I've already used A, B, C, and D in part A, I'll switch it with another letter. Let's use K through K sub four. So I'll make this K sub one, K sub two, K three, and K four. And once again, if I multiply this out, I should end up with K sub one, K sub two, K sub three, sub four is equal to zero, 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 and zero. The fact that we end up with K sub one all the way to sub four equaling zero, this suggests that we only get trivial solutions. That means it's independent. So I'll write down independent. Since it both spans and is independent, we can say with complete confidence that these matrices in this set form a standard basis for a two by two matrix. And there you have it. That is how to determine if vectors and matrices form a basis.